Okay, we just arrived here in Bantayan Island here in Cebu and we're staying at Amihan Beach Cabanas. Come on, let's check out this beautiful resort. So we're staying at Cabana number 4 here at Amihan Beach Cabanas. So our cabana has a veranda. There's a native living room set. Nice. So we're now inside our cabana with sea view. I like the native vibe here and it looks elegant to me. There's the queen size bed. So nice. And there's the coffee and tea area. I really like that they provide electric kettle and complimentary water. And across the bed is a television and a refrigerator. Of course, our room is air-conditioned. And there's also a ceiling fan, but I don't think you'll be needing this one because it's cold here already. Bath and cold towels are provided. They also provide mosquito repellent lotion. They provide in-room sleepers and umbrellas if in case it rains. There's also a hair dryer. This door leads us to the toilet and bath. Come on, let's check it out. We're now here inside the super cool toilet and bath of Far Cabana. They provide vanity kit and dental kits and hand soap. Shampoo and body wash are also provided. They have hot and cold shower. And there's the facade of Amihan Beach Cabanas. And there are the beach beds. By the way, there's their restaurant bar. And they also have a stylish swimming pool. It's so cool that there's a torch across our cabana. Time check, it's 7 p.m. and I just want to say that so far, I'm really liking Amihan Beach Cabanas. We'll be staying in a native hut-like accommodation. It's modern and very stylish. Truly an Instagrammable accommodation. All the more, the entire resort, I was actually surprised when I arrived here. I didn't know that they do have a pool. And the pool is very nice because it's by the beach. And another thing that surprised me is that Amihan Beach Cabanas is so beautiful at night. When I flew my drone earlier during sunset, I was really amazed how beautiful Amihan Beach Cabanas at night. And another thing that really surprised me is the quality of customers service they provide from the reservation the receptionist the fnb everyone here is very nice you'll truly feel like you're special if you're visiting amihan beach cabanas i guess for now i'll just take a rest before having dinner later because it was quite a tiring travel from Malapascua going here in Bantayan Island. I took a habal habal ride. So I'll just take a rest maybe for a couple of hours. Then we'll have dinner later. By the way, the restaurant here is until 10.30 p.m. So I guess I still have time to rest. Okay, for our dinner, we're having grilled pork chop and we're trying their mango shake. Time check, it's 10.30 p.m. I'm done with dinner and I love the grilled pork chop here in Amihan Beach Cabanas. And I also love the ambience of the restaurant at night. They play good songs. However, I didn't use my mic when I filmed the food during our dinner because, of course, we want to avoid copyright strike in our vlog. But I really enjoy the music that they play at the restaurant. So for now, I'll try to edit a vlog first before we hit the bed.
Good morning, I guess it's 9 a.m. and here's the facade of Amihan Beach Cabanas. And look at the clear water of Bantayan Island. For breakfast, we're having Filipino breakfast. So, the gate scrambled egg, fried rice, and there's also salad. And of course, we have coffee. We're now on the second level of the restaurant. So if you smoke, there's their designated smoking area. And look at how beautiful this place is. Time check, I guess it's 12 noon and it's just nice to bask in the sun and enjoy the beach. What I really like about Amihan Beach Cabanas is that you get exclusivity if you are staying here because the area is just exclusive for in-house guests. Okay, it's lunchtime for our lunch. We're having burger and fries and of course with this beautiful view. Well, since it's July, it's rainy season. Nonetheless, the place is beautiful, rain or shine. By the way, if you're staying here at Amihan Beach Cabanas, they have a nightly bonfire. I really like their grilled pork chop. That's why I'm having this again for dinner. Good morning, time check. It's 6 a.m. If you're a big group, this is for families or barcada. And this accommodation also has an exclusive pool. And there's our cabana. We're staying at cabana number four. I don't think they have a complimentary coffee here, so I bought instant coffee at a nearby store. It's our third and our last day here in Amihan, and for our breakfast, we're having pancakes. Time check, it's 9.30 a.m. and we just had our breakfast. And by the way, check-in here at Amihan Beach Cabanas is 2 p.m. and check-out is 11 a.m. the next day. And let's now have a quick review. So the three things that I like the most about Amihan Beach Cabanas is first, their accommodation. I love the furnitures and fixtures in this accommodation and at the same time you get to have a private toilet and bath which is very nice as well. If you're following this channel, we've tried several native houses back in Luzon or staycation places nearby Manila and I should say the accommodation here in Amihan Beach Cabanas is one of my favorites. 
And of course, the accommodation is air-conditioned. And it's really nice that during daytime, during sunny day, it's not hot inside. It's very comfortable. And speaking of comfort, they do have very comfortable bed here. It's just so nice to sleep here. And of course, the pillows are comfortable as well. I actually checked the brand of the pillows and it's actually Mandawi foam. It's made in Cebu, so I might change our pillows when I return to Manila. And of course, their cabana here is very Instagrammable. Not just the cabana, but the entire resort as well. They do have lots of Instagrammable spots here. The pools are very stylish as well as the beach beds. And there are actually a lot of hangout nooks in this resort. And if you smoke, they do have smoking area as well. And the second thing that I like the most about Amihan Beach Cabanas is of course the beach. It's given already, this is in Bantayan Island. The water is so crystal clear. And at the same time, at most you get exclusivity here. Amihan Beach Cabanas is a boutique resort, so they only have a few cabanas here. This place is not crowded and it's just so nice to swim or hang out to the beach. And the third and the last thing that I like about Amihan Beach Cabanas is the customer service. It's actually my fourth time here in Bantayan Island and it's my first time to try this resort. And I should say so far, Amihan Beach Cabanas has the best customer service. The customer experience here is really nice. Actually from the reservation and booking, it was smooth. During the check-in process, it was really fast. And everyone here is just so nice. They always greet you, they always smile at you. And they actually anticipate the needs of their guests. I will never forget my experience here. I ordered grilled pork chop for dinner. And usually, I'm really having a hard time eating slabs of meat because I only have one hand. I cannot use knife and fork at the same time. And one of their staff, it was Kai, she asked me if I wanted the pork chop. So imagine, she has anticipated that it'll be hard for me to eat a big slab of meat with one hand. And it was really a nice experience for me. Anyway, I'm out of words. I really like the customer service here. Their service here is at par with other high-end resorts that I've visited. So the question is, will I recommend Amihan Beach Cabanas? It's definitely yes. This resort is a high-end resort here in Bantayan Island. So if you're looking for a less crowded resort, at the same time you get in a way exclusivity and a great accommodation and experience, a great customer service, and you have the budget, I'm highly recommending Amihan Beach Cabanas. So how to book? Just visit their website. I'll just put the link in the description box below. Alternatively, there are huge discounts in Agoda. So you can book via their Agoda. I'll just put the Agoda link in the description box below as well. 